Hey guys, it's Hey Sophia and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing parrot house designs. So if you don't know, in the latest snapshot, Mo Yang released that they'll be putting parrots into Minecraft. I think they're totally adorable and it's only appropriate that I do some parrot house designs to match all the other pet house designs that I have already done. So I am calling this parrot house designs videos only because I'm doing like Avery's, I'm doing biome themed Avery's and like parrot designs and I'm doing indoor stands as well. So my first design here is a very simple one that's based off like all of these are based off real life except the biome. So very simple, I've got a ladder because parrots have ladders in their cages sometimes, just some fence posts and that's about it. Whereas my second design here is based more on an actual cage, so I've got a wall at the back there. So to save on space, instead of having a full cage around, that way I only have to have it at the front because I've attached it to the, to the wall. But that's a more realistic cage if you're wanting that. These next few ones here are more so stands if you want your parrots just sitting indoors with you. You'll notice that they use a lot of wood because this is typically what you will find with parrot stands, it's wood with lots of wood. So my first one there was a very simple one. This one's kind of an upgrade on that one. So you've got a little bridge here. Something else you should note, which I will show in a second, is that parrots, I tried this actually, parrots will not sit on top of fence posts. They can't fly on top of them. I tried leaning my parrot towards it, they get caught on the fence post and they can't sit on top of carpet on top of fence posts. So, but they will sit on top of slabs, on top of fence posts, and I believe trapdoors as well. So just something you need to think about when you design these. This one here, very cute. I've made a little mirror because sometimes you tend to find that people put little mirrors in their bird cages. Very simple item frame and a glass pane. You could do white or blue. I've simply done white. And something else I've done up here as well, I've made a little nesting box because sometimes when you have female parrots and or birds and they're laying eggs, they need a little nest box. So that's what that one there is. So there's another design there for you. This one here is a very simple design as well, just a fence post with some slabs. It's a bit less chunky than my first one with the log, so if you're wanting something really simple, something like that. Or if you're wanting something where sometimes you find that bird stands will have like the little trays underneath to catch, you know, droppings and feathers. So all I've done down the bottom, I've got some andesite to kind of look like a tray. I've put some iron bars on the side and I have my stand sitting on my iron bars. So if you're wanting something that's a little bit more functional to real life, putting a tray underneath your stands could be a really good idea. This design here is based off those Asian style um, bird cages. You know, the, the ones which are really thin wooden dowels, like the little sticks. That's why I've done this one. So I've simply used acacia doors the whole way around and a trap door on top. And I think it really shows off that cage well. It's a bit hard to do a roof with acacia doors. You can't really do that. So I've just made mine a flat one. Whereas this design here is a very simple stand just made out of trapdoors, some fence posts. I've got a little roof on this one as well. Very cute and I think it's very nice. These next few ones here are modern designs. So if you have a modern home, you could go off these. I've utilized here the iron doors and also quartz. And then I have put the glass in the front. The reason I did glass is because if you do the doors, or you could also do trapdoors on top if you prefer that as well, if you want something a bit more flat. But the reason I did the glass is because if you do the doors on the front, you can't actually see the birds. Like, you've only got the one gap there, so unless you've got to be peering in all the time to look at your birds, do the glass at the front, but then the doors around the side. This design here is based on those kind of like stand rounded bird cages. It is very chunky because it is harder to do something like that in Minecraft. You just can't do it with, without having no space in the middle. So I've simply used some quartz slabs and a block up the top. I've used some trap doors. I've got it on an emerald and glass panes around. I've got my little birdie in there. Yeah. 
Whereas these two are kind of based on the original stand design. So I've got end rods, slabs, trapdoors up the top as a stand, like these slabs there, or trapdoors. Very cute little modern one. And something I discovered by playing around with the parrots as well is they can actually stand on end rods. So even though they can't stand on fences, they can stand on end rods. So if you want a little perch kind of thing, end rods are a really, really great solution for that. I just put the bird on top and then I tamed it really quickly with cookies while it was up there. And these two designs here are furniture designs. So sometimes you find that in homes, people try and replicate furniture, but as a bird cage, so they tend to use cabinets. So I've got two very simple cabinet designs. This one's a little bit more complex, but all I've really done is two blocks wide. And then I think I did four blocks long, yeah. I've just done some staircases on top and slabs. The top there I've got trap doors to keep it open and then I've got the acacia doors at the front. But that's basically it. So they're very simple to do. You don't have to use the jungle wood as well. I just did it to kind of match the acacia doors. So my next few designs here are biome specific. So if you want your birds outdoors, this one obviously jungle. So again, you'll find that I'm using acacia doors a lot because you can see through them. I've got my little mirror, very simple. I've made it look like it can blend in in a tree if you've got tree houses or also on the ground. This one here is for snow or ice spike biomes. So I've kind of taken inspiration from ice spikes, how they're messy. So I've used snow, ice, quartz for little stands. And then I've used glass panes for my little cage. And then the top I've used quartz slabs, just very messy. It kind of reminds me of messy snow, like how ice spikes are very unorganized in a natural way. So I've just tried to replicate that with my roof here. You want to just make sure that you've always got the glass panes closed off so they can't get out. And this is for my savannah design. So I... Because Savannah is African, I just like the African theme, so I've made a very simple round dirt hut here, like a mud hut, like a traditional one. I've got an oak roof on top here, and then I've put my birds inside my little mud hut, as you can see there. But it's just a very cute one. I've tried to keep it quite realistic to like an African round mud hut. I think it's a really cool design. If you've got a little village, you can have your parrots in there. This is for the desert biome, so this is a very simple one as well, taking inspiration from the desert temples. So I've got chiseled at the front to make a kind of like desert temple look, and then I've used just basically some slabs, sand in the side, I've got oak there. Remember you're more than welcome to put mirrors in these or ladders. Another cool thing if you have a white skull block. It could look like cuttlefish, like the little cuddle that parrots chew on, so put a white skull block in there as well. This is a dark oak design, really cute, I'm really happy with this. All you want to do, take off the front of the mushroom, put slabs at the base, and then do this entryway with staircases. I've got white glass there. I think it's a really adorable design, I was actually really pleased with it, I think it's really cute. So if you've got a mushroom island kind of house or a dark oak, that could be a really good house for you. This one here is for a flower forest biome or even, you could do this anywhere you want. I'm going to show you how to build this one because it's a little bit difficult. Basically, I've made a glass block looking um, flower, like it's a b the bud of a flower. So that's why I think this is really cool for a flower biome because I think they're quite colorful. We're going to do the base first. You want to go three by three by three, just like this, or fill in the center. And then on the inside of your thing, you can see I've got some blocks there to make the stand. I think it's a really good replica of actually doing the stem of a flower. So you kind of have like the glass as your leaves and your petals, and then the wooden stand for the parrots is the stem. So we're going to start off, as you can see, it sticks out a bit as well. So it, oops, oops, actually I did it the wrong way. This is terrible. But we're going to do the leaves first. So I'm mixing the dark green and the green, just randomly placing them. And then we're going to go up randomly as well, just two or one, up to you. Mix and match your colors. You then want to go pink. And then you can see that the pink comes out too, and then you start to go up slowly. So that's what we're going to be doing as well. So you go up like this, and then two blocks, 
up there on the sides as well. We're going to do this the whole way around. Now we're going to go up a little bit. I am doing it like this at first. So basically it's the same kind of thing you do when you're trying to build a roof. You're going in and in and in, but you can see on the middle bits here, you want to go up one further. So you just want to remove these ones here and then go up like this. And then you're going to go up again like that. And eventually you're going to have this point and then that's the top of the flower. We'll fill in the side bits here that are gaps. So that's the base of your bud. You can always just keep it like that if you like the look at that. I'm adding a little curly leaf like petal detail up the top here. Uh, I'm just going to do a few like this. I'll curl one a bit more too. So you can always keep it like that if you don't like it. I'm going to make my multicolored. If you would like to do it as well, you don't have to do pink. I just think it's a bit girly and it suits the flower biome. You just want to fill it with purple like this, starting at the base of the plant. Because if you typically look at a flower, look at the petal, you'll see that the colors, you might have pink for the whole main color of your petal, but you might have little white streaks coming from the center. So you want to replicate that with the bud as well. So I'm doing a bit of purple and then also a bit of white just like this streaking up around the purple. So you just want to be doing the white randomly around the purple. You also don't have to be doing any white, you could be just doing purple. I'm just showing you a three color design so you could see what you could do. You could do red, orange and yellow for your flower, you could do dark blue or you could do like a light blue flower and then like dark purple and then dark blue for your base colors but there's i think a really cute design for a fly up flower biome something different kind of reminds me of the old style zoo designs like in the old days where your birds were in these round aviaries just with pathways around them at the zoo so that's what i've gone for there this design here is for the mesa biome so i should probably put some sand down here so it looks like a mesa <laughs> Basically, I think Wild West really suits Mesa biomes. That's what I think when I think Mesa. You could always just replicate my desert design for the Mesa. You don't have to do this, but I've basically designed a really old saloon. Just a very, very simple one for a birdcage. I've got some a one block base wood block. I've then gone three high for the walls, slips for the roof. And then I've got this rectangle design up here for my sign, because typically you'll see they'll say bar up there or saloon. I've then got a railing and a little oak overhang roof for a different wood. I've got some windows at the back with an overhang as well and then my parrots in here. So if you have a little saloon town and you're wanting to keep some parrots or somewhere in the Mesa, that could be a cool design for you. Whereas this here is for the swamp biome or you could also adapt this for a oak forest. So I've made a very simple tree trunk. It's just, I've just decorated with like vines and uh, the lily pads as well. I'll show you how I did it. You just want to kind of make a really messy round shape. So you can see that my shape here is round but it's wonky. You then want to make the base two blocks high and then you just want to work up like that. You could go always two blocks for the base but then you could go maybe only one block high or two block high. Again same design as the butt at the front. You want to work up to a point because it's meant to look like an old old tree stump. And then yeah, lily pads, some vines. I've got a window. If you're wanting to do for the oak forest, just adapt it by probably doing some bushes over the top like oak leaves and then flowers are all around the front. Make it more pretty, not so swampy looking, but yeah. So that's the end of my biome and my last two designs here are for outdoor bird aviary designs. So these are typically what you see when people have outdoor aviaries. This is what some friends of mine had for theirs. They had a concrete base. I've used the glass panes like I did in my other pet videos which I will link down below because it looks like the aviary mesh. Obviously once the snapshot is released and you have Optifine you won't have the little squares it will just be Plane. I've got a little arch roof here. Also you can make this as big as you want and you could just do grass for the base and then do leaves in there or things like that. Like I've done leaves in this one here. 
This is more a zoo design Avery. So typically when I've gone to zoos here, they normally have the outdoor bird sections as these really long Avery cages and then you can look in them. So that's what that one is there as well. But there you go, there is 25 different parrot house designs for your parrots when you get the new update. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for things you would like to build. I'm always open for more and I'm working through my lists. But like always guys, thank you so so much. Thank you. Bye.